everybody and welcome back to my latest episode of the Toy Dungeon SA. I'm Lionel Zanna and today I'm going to do another quick game video that I also found on my Titan Pixel 64 which is almost like an emulator box. Last time I did Weapon Raw, today I'm going to do another game which is just as good and this one is called Comic Zone so let's check it out. So Comic Zone this game takes me way back to, I wasn't a kid, I was more like a young teenager. I remember having a friend that had a friend who came to visit, he's kind of a weirdo, but he brought with him some Sega games. And the one game that stood out, and still to this day when I saw it blew my socks off, is called Comic Zone, so let's talk a bit about it. So this game is very unique from what I can remember. I mean, only came out in 1995. While playing the game again, brought back lots of nostalgia of those times. The game starts off, you are a sketch artist called Sketch Turner, and one of your cartoon sketches escapes and puts you into the comic, and if you die, he becomes mortal. The game is so unique in its gameplay, so many different types of acrobatic moves for beat him ups at that time, you're talking about different types of combos, you're talking about special abilities and seriously strange things within the game. When you're playing the game it feels like you're in a comic book and you're jumping from sketch to sketch to fight the enemies, figure out all sorts of crazy traps and things that are set for you by this bad villain. But nonetheless you do have help, you've got like, superhero powers and you also have a pet rat that helps you along the way to fight your enemies and to find secrets within the game to build your superpowers, weapons and arsenal and all of that type of stuff. Everything about this game is over the top from the music to the gameplay to the, the way the story is constructed is excellent. It's a load of fun and something I haven't really seen until this day. I saw another game that incorporates a sort of a similar type of ideas and that game is 13 on the PlayStation 2. Very cool game and I suggest it for anybody's collection. I have it on a Game Boy Advance and I'd really like to get it on a 16-bit because I find that the 16-bit has got more of a fluidity feel to it. It's a little bit easier and more fast-paced. This one is like a little bit laid back. But nonetheless, just to play it again brought back so much memory, so much nostalgia and was so much fun playing it and feeling it out all over again. So yeah, if you see it in the wild, pick it up, take it and play it because I promise you will not regret it. Comic Zone, awesome freaking game and so bizarre at the same time. Okay, so there we go dudes. Come to the end of this episode of mine and if this is what you like, keep tuned for my latest video which is my latest toy haul. I do this every now and then of all the toys and games that I can find in the wild. So, see you there. Till next time, cheers.